Throughout history, palaces has been built for the royal families, for the head of the state and for other people in position of power. Most of the notable palatial buildings of the world are located in Asia and Europe and were once occupied by the powerful emperors and kings. Today, very few of these symbols of power are still occupied by the royal families who once owned them. Most of them had been converted to museum and served as a major tourist attraction. Today's video are the 10 amazing palaces from around the world. Number 10 on the list, the majestic Burj Hohenzollern. Burj high on a wooden hill evokes a fairy tale fantasies. The original castle was completed, destroyed and replaced twice, first in 1454 and again in 1800s. Crown Prince Frederick William IV of Russia had the castle rebuilt and filled with an opulent furnishings, right down to the doorknobs and some are carved and to resemble dogs and peacocks. The neo-gothic architecture complete with turrets and tower make the castle a stunning sight. Visitors touring the castle can see the Prussian royal crown and enjoy the regional cuisine in the castle's restaurant. Number 9 on the list. Perched high above the village of Sintra, the Palacio Nacional de Peña was originally the monastery of Nosa Senora de Peña on the site of the operation of the Virgin Mary. The monastery was abandoned in 1834 when the religious order was suppressed in Portugal and was left in despair. Inspired by a German Romanticism, King Ferdinand bought the building and rehabilitated it, turning it into an eclectic castle incorporating neo-Gothic, neo-Islamic, and neo-Renaissance elements. Ferdinand also planted exotic flowers and over 500 species of trees underground. In 1994, the palace was repainted its original color, pink for the former monastery and ochre for the new palace. Number 8 on the list, high above the mountains of Tibet lies Botala Palace of Lhasa Valley. It was built in 1645 during the reign of the 5th Dalai Lama. It rises from a palace erected by Sotsan Kampo in the 7th century. The White Palace Patrang Karpo was constructed in 1648, while the Red Palace Patrang Marpo was constructed between 1690 and 1694. The palace was occupied by the Dalai Lamas until the 14th Dalai Lama was forced out of Tibet by the Chinese government. Most of the temples back then were destroyed by the Red Army, but they left the palace untouched. Maybe because they were bewildered by its beauty. I mean, who would destroy such an amazing structure? Number 7. China's Providen City is the world's largest palace complex. Built on 1420, it was the seat of the Ming Dynasty with a total of 1,000 buildings and 999 rooms. Enter the Providen City to the Gate of the Heavenly Peace from the Tiananmen Square and prepare to feast your eyes on the Imperial Chinese legacy. Some of the palace complex highlights include the Meridian Gate, where the Emperor announced planting schedules, and the Hall of Supreme Harmony, used for the coronations, weddings, and royal birthdays, and the Hall Clock and Watches. Located in the core of the palace is the Imperial Throne in the Palace of Heavenly Purity, as well as the Empress Chamber and the room used for her birthday celebration. Number 6. Originally built as a fortress, Himeji Castle Tower sits high above the coastal city of Himeji, near Osaka, and surrounded by cherry blossom. It was constructed as a fortress in 1333 and transformed into a castle in 1346. Later expanded in the early 17th century, it has remained virtually the same ever since, even surviving bombings from the World War II and eventually declared by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The spectacular wooden palace is protected by three moats and stand five stories high, surrounded by three smaller buildings. It is easy to get lost in the labyrinth-like grounds, but guided tours in English can help you navigate the spectacular palace. Number 5. Lakshmi Vilas Palace is one of the most majestic structure in India and was the private residence of the Maharaja Sayarija Gaekwad III, known to be the largest private dwelling place of its size, equivalent to four times of the Buckingham Palace. This magnificent palace is a must visit when in Vadodara. Sprawling across the area of about 700 acres, it is still the home of the royal family of the Vadodara, the Gaekwads. This striking palace was constructed in 1890 and took nearly 12 years to complete. 
the Lakshmi Vilas Palace is one of the most impressive Raj era palaces in India till today. Number 4. Peterhof served as a residence of the Russian royal family for over 200 years. Until the empire ended in 1917, it was built between 1714 and 1723 by Peter the Great, the Tsar of the Russian Empire. The complex originally included the main palace, the lower and upper garden, the channel leading from the Bay of Finland to the palace, with some smaller outlying palaces including Peter's personal residence, with several ornate fountains, one of the most well known in the complex. Then. During World War II, German forces destroyed part of the complex, but after war, the structures were rebuilt. Since then, Peter Hope served as a park and museum so that visitors can enjoy its wonder. In 1990, Peter Hope was included in the list of UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 3. Skundrun Palace is one of the Europe's most beautiful Baroque complexes and has been in the possession of the Habsburg monarch since 1569. The wife of Emperor Ferdinand II, Eleonore von Gonzaga, had the palace built on the site in 1642 and called the property Skundrum for the first time. The palace and garden complexes created from 1696 onward following the Siege of Vienna was completely redesigned under Maria Theresa after 1743. Today, due to its historical significance, its unique layout and magnificent furnishing, the palace was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 2. The Chateau de Versailles It was originally built as a hunting lodge but became an opulent palace celebrated in film and literature under Louis XIV, who moved his entire court from Paris to Versailles. Although peasants stormed in during the French Revolution, Visitors today can see how the Sand King and his court live, thanks to the extensive restoration. Try to walk through the Hall of Mirrors, where the walls were hosted, the State Department, the private apartments, and the elaborated palace ground with fountains, gardens, and mazes. The Opera de Versailles, which still performs shows today, is one of the most beautiful, amazing opera houses. Don't miss the Hamwa de Lorraine, a rustic cottage built on the palace ground where Maria Antoinette used to go to escape the hectic court life and pretend to be a shepherdess. And number one on the list, behold the magnificent New Swanson Castle in Bavaria. That's my own personal bucket list of the amazing palaces around the world. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.